afternoon everyone. Um, my name is Jess Philip Riley and I am the Environment Officer here at Falls Creek Resort Management. The our home resort is um, Crown Land, so that means it's owned by the state. It's actually owned by, by everybody in the state. Um, but we're obviously very different to the National Park, which is also Crown Land, and that's because the Alpine Resort has been designated to be managed in a particular way, and that is as an Alpine um, Resort. We are managed under a Parliamentary Act, which is the Alpine Resort Management Act, and under that we are, we're similar to a local council in the way that we uh, manage operations such as um, providing clean water, managing everybody's sewerage, um, clearing snow, environmental programs, um, and do lots of marketing activities and things like that. We also have the ability to issue leases, so all of the buildings and um, other activities within the resort, they don't actually own the land or own those buildings, they lease them from resort management. The biggest one is the um, ski lift company. So they're separate to resort management and they operate obviously the lifts, um, they make snow, they do all the lessons. So they're, they're a different organisation to us. A bit of background. So the Alpine uh, Resort Management Act that I mentioned before sets out some kind of objectives for the way that this land will be managed. Um, it says that Victoria's Alpine Resorts will be vibrant, growing and sustainable places. That's really important one from an environmental perspective and that they aim to deliver recreational and tourism experiences to all. So we're trying to create really fair and equitable access to the Alpine environment. A few statistics, uh, the Alpine Resort covers more than 1,500 hectares of land and we have some really unique biodiversity values like the surrounding national park that we need to manage. Um, in 2018 we had um, 180,000 visitors come to the resort, so there's a lot of people coming through and there's lots of environmental pressures that are associated with that high level of visitation. Um, the Res Falls Creek Resort provides $280 million in gross um, domestic product, so it's a kind of a measure of our economic contribution, so it's also a big um, uh, provider of jobs for the area in the region, which is another thing that is an important um, area of work for resort management. Um, some of the environmental values that we have within the resort um, include Lots of rare and threatened species that are actually protected under state and under um, federal level um, acts. Some of the ones we have include the mountain pygmy possum, the broadtooth rat, um, lots of um, skinks, so the alpine water skink, alpine shinook skink, um, and some particular um, flora species and some ecological communities, so things like the alpine um, bogs and peat mines, which you might be learning about a little bit more later today. Um, just to give you some context, that little red circle, that's um, Falls Creek. Obviously we're part of a much broader Bogon pipeline. So particularly in terms of the environment, we need to work really closely with our neighbouring land managers, which is Parks Victoria. Um, because when we're talking about environmental issues like deer, they're not going to stick to um, arbitrary boundaries like the area of resort management. So we need to work with our, um, our neighbouring land managers and we do be collaborate really closely with Parks Victoria. Um, so I've, well, you've obviously spent today in the resort and um, you've seen that there's a lot of activity, there's a lot of building and development, and I've already mentioned some of the um, ecological values that we have in the resort. So there's some conflicting um, land use issues that we need to consider. So within the resort there's, um, well, all the development in Victoria is managed under the Planning and Environment Act. And that kind of sets out um, some guidelines or rules for what type of development might be appropriate in certain areas. So we couldn't do this kind of development into the, in the national park, but we can within the resort. Um, but within the resort, we still also need to protect some of those really high biodiversity areas like our mountain, mountain pig possum habitat. So within the Planning Environment Act, um, it sets out areas where we can develop land, where we can't, and what we can do in these certain areas. And that kind of helps manage um, those conflicting land use um, issues that we have.